Hey there, Magix here, and today I want to try out Legends of Rune Terror. You can see it here. Uh, it's also kind of a card game like Magic the Gathering. I have heard quite good feedback from this game, so I thought, why not give it a try? I haven't seen anything of it before. I haven't played it before. I just heard that it plays in the Leech of, Le whoop, League of Legends uh, lore, so... Anyhow, let's see. Okay, so this seems to be like the tutorial. And we are usually starting with 20 HP, I guess. Or Nexus points here. Well, we have one card in our hand, so... This is Garen. Uh, 555, five, five. don't know, probably 5 attack, 5 defense. Don't know what this 5 is. But it's a champion card. And he can level up, apparently, if he strikes once, so... well... It falls to me to stop this blustering malefactor. These are probably the champions that you pick in League, League of Legends. I was more of a Dota player, but the card game equivalent of that isn't that great, I think. Well, we play Garen. Somehow. Put him on there. Uh, yeah, so this is the attack power, in this case 5, this is the HP, and can level up after he strikes once here. Uh, when you play a unit, it goes here, yes. Wait, who are you again? Draven is the bad guy here, but he is weaker, so... Yeah, still turn based. Now it's our opponent's turn. He has passed. So you act again. Okay. Yeah, next is our HP. So much so clear. That is kind of the same like magic. And now it's our round. And we can send him in the red zone to attack. Okay, so you can choose all the units you want to send in there. You say attack. Like he can decide if he wants to block or not. Yeah, okay. Then they fight. And we level up. Gain some more hit points and one more attack point, okay. Aha! Another foe defeated! Hold up! I wasn't supposed to lose! I never lose! Well, now you lost. Now he is weakened, so another attack will probably kill him, so... Alright, no more game action. So far, I wonder if there's a resource system, like mana or something. It's the enemy's turn to attack. He passed, then it's our turn. Alright, so we place her. She has only two attack, two health. Still wonder what this one means. Maybe this is the cost actually. Huh, how to place it like this. Okay. New recruit reporting in. Ready yourself. We attack soon. Alright. I'm ready. And it. We are checked on both units for eight and um charge that should win. Justice yep. triumphs. Alright. Yay, victory! Well, so much for the first tutorial mission. Alright, and we gain some new cards. Alpha Wild Claw. Okay, so we also have some keywords here. All of them have overwhelm. Uh, when I'm summoned, grant me plus one plus one for each ally that has died. Okay, interesting. Oh, maybe we'll learn more about that in the next mission. And we get a new champion called Braum. The first time I survive damage, summon a mighty Poro. And he levels up if he survived 10 total damage, but he only has 5 HP, so... 
there has to be a way to improve his defense. Well, deck upgrade. Your deck now features Demacia and Freljord, okay. So, several factions here. Now we learn about defense, okay. Let's go. There is Braum. Horos, what are you going to do? Cuddle me to death? A mighty Poro. This mighty Poro is a follower. Unlike champions, followers cannot level up. Okay, here. So just normal creatures. Even mighty Poro deserves mighty friend, like bro. Okay, so here we go. He's 06, okay. Oh, he just has to block once now, okay. Maybe it's another version. Alright. Carve a path! Yeah, we have 5 HP, they have 3 attackers, Stand we have 2 blockers. So much so clear. Then we block the biggest one with Braum, and one of those here. Alright. Take two. We blocked. This was a fine block. Yep. Ah, this reminds me of when I carried Elnux over Iron Spike Mountains. It was on a night so biting cold. Alright. So what happens now? Then, okay, just a new scenario. And Farmer said, no, thank you! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, we march. What are they gonna do? Survive for one round without letting any poros die. Yeah, well, that is pretty easy. Help is underway. <laughs> Stand behind Brom. Walk. Oh, oh, very strong! The fighting is hungry work! You like Boros next? So if our turn is over, maybe the HP recovers. Don't know, this is more like the basic function here of the game, I think. Uh, new deck, swarm your foes with fast aggressive allies like the Shadow Isles champion Elise, okay. Okay. Okay, so it seems like there is mana. Let's see. You use mana to play your cards. You start the game with one mana. Okay. So no lands in this game, like in Magic. Ah, so this is the cost. Okay, yeah, makes sense. So we can only play the Spiderling. So, play the 1-1 one, one for 1. Uh, you can only attack every other round. It's because they are summoning sick, I guess. This game, your enemy goes first. You will be able to attack next round. Alright. End the round. Now we have two mana. Yeah. So each round it refills and we gain an additional one. So now we can play our champion. What is the level up condition? Level up, start of round, you have three plus other spiders. Okay, and these are all classified spiders. And she's her spider herself, so. but doesn't count herself, okay. Mm, feels good to stretch my legs. Alright. We can attack. We can only try these one once. Oh, she can directly attack. Wow, 
why do we attack with the 1-1? One -one? Then it dies. And we can't fulfill the level up. That's weird. Alright. Summon another 1-1. One -one. Then one spider dies. That's what I wanted to prevent. Well. It's his turn. He has three now. Okay, so one, what three. Is this? That shoots what? also one once. Luigi, of course. Okay, one I'm summon, summon two wrench bots. That is pretty good. We play the house spider. And we can still summon this one, right? My creations. Or you can only summon one card per turn. Don't know the summoning order, that's kind of weird. Alright. Let's see if the HP recovers. Just you wait. I have a right and round. I think it's about time we wrap this up. Okay. Have four mana, so we can still summon the house web spider here. Alright, so we have the initiative to attack. We have the attack token, but both players can summon units. Well, it's kind of different there. So he has still this one three. We might lose Elise if we attack here with her. So let's send out our little spider army. I guess then he loses. Nah, let's take like that. Anticipated outcome. All right. Five. Well, we can't do anything with this two. Now he has the attack token. Alright. Uh, we can block pretty easily here. We can block pretty easily here. And don't lose the bigger one. Alright. To the Alright. Then we get the attack token and then we can summon the other Lord Spider here. That buffs up all of our spiders and still this weaker one. Maybe I should have played the weaker one first, okay. Yeah, I mean, now let's go all in. That wasn't so bad. All right. So the spiders were good. Lux barrier. I've seen you cast six plus manner of spells when I level up, create a final spark in hand, okay. Whatever a final spark is, I guess. Light and shadow, burst spell, spell mana, okay. For justice 
and all things bright. Burst. You drew a spell. Spells are powerful cards that can turn the tides, tide of a battle or an entire match. Okay, burst spells are the fastest spells in the game. They take effect immediately and don't count as taking an action, so they are instant speed, okay. We draw two spells. We can play the Bright Seer Protector and give her barrier, whatever that does. Area protects a unit from the next damage it would take this round, okay? Time for this candle to flicker out. We'll see about that. Uh, this lets you view a card's information. Attack, create an attacking living shadow with my stats. Okay. And this is probably the living shadow, so he can make a copy of himself. This unit dies when it strikes or when the round ends, okay? So it's only until end of turn. Then... Okay. Spell set protects himself with the burst spell. All right. Now he attacks. Let's see. We have another spell here. All right. I have many faces. Prismatic barrier to give another barrier or final spark for six damage, okay? All right. about that, so he switched positions, okay. Alright. At the end of each round, up to three of your unspent mana become spell mana, okay. Okay, I see. Light him up! That was a removal. Okay. Don't have any mana to do anything here. Now we have full spell power again. Let's move the bright seal now. Let's draw some cards first. Alright. My shield is yours! From what you believe, I'll stop you. Okay. I'll write my own story. We have three mana again. Lawrence, Blade Keeper. Okay. Are born with blade in the hand. Illuminate the enemy! The 
jetzt der Loch, Okay. Superior tactic is to never give up. Okay. Good old instant spells. Always good for especially drawing cards. <laughs> Okay, so we get a new deck. Spells and stealth. Okay. Use your new decks. And a lot more new cards. Now I don't know anything about the matter or good decks or what have you. Alright. Let's first test a little bit. Uh, buff and tough, death and spiders, spells and stealth. Let's go with death and spiders first. Let's go. Let's see. So we have two champions, he has only one. Starting hand, choose cards to replace. Uh, so we need more spiders. So this helps to get more spiders. Let's replace this. And well, he is pretty expensive, so let's maybe exchange them. Okay. Vile Feast. Drain one from a unit to summon a Spiderling. Okay. Uh, what is this doing? Can only be blocked by enemies with three or more power. Okay. That's cool. Let's play the pet. Can attack. Can't I? Attack! Yes, the spiders are coming. He didn't summon anything for his turn. What is that? A lonely Poro, okay. In hand. Okay, uh. We can now play Elise. There's nothing to fear. Uh, I don't want to block with this spider, but we can block Sinister Poro. Three or more powers, so we can only block here. I'll be over soon. Let's go. Alright. I'm trying to get a hang here. Get another Elise. Uh, Elise crawling. If an ally died this round, summon two spiderlings. Ah, okay. We have three. I don't actually need to play this one. Alright. I don't want to attack, I think, and lose any spiders. I want to transform her. Let me change into something more comfortable. All right. <laughs> we can block here. What is this? Can can choose which enemy units block. Okay. Challenger. Uh, what about our spells? We can use this if an ally dies. From to summon a spiderling. So we could use that to summon that. And we have a 3-2. 
So if we play this, we train one here. Okay, that doesn't do a lot. Kill an ally to draw two, okay. Uh, do we block this 3-3? Three, three? That's really the question. Now let, let's let's take the three, I guess then. Right. So this way we summoned one. Um, we still have three mana, and then ally died this turn. Oh, this has no burst. I think that is the issue. Okay. Pass. We should gain three more. Right. If we remove this one, Alright. We have an attack token. Okay. Draw a few. Then we could play this. Kill here. Okay. Oh no, he survives. We made it stronger. Uh, we can still attack. He can't block anything. Let's send everything in. Let's see. Oh, but her maybe. Because she gives every everything still challenger and fearsome. Let's see. Okay. Challenging. Uh, can play this other Spider Queen. Brute Awakening Darius. Let's play him. I have my orders. He's pretty strong. Don't be sad, my friend. Smallest of pieces and biggest of hearts. It is easy, see? All right. Kill units. Kill him. Is this possible? Alright. He has a lot of units, so... It's not a good attack I have right now. Okay, what the heck is that? Oh. An eighteen eighteen. Well, that would be the turn now to use the removal, I guess. Wait, if I summon her doesn't do a lot. We can combine that, maybe. Uh, 
We have to block, so let's throw the 1-1 one, one in, I guess. What? Okay, so there was something to trample. We are dead. We got demolished. Stole to noob. Alright. Well, let's try this again. <laughs> Phantom Prankster. Yeah, that doesn't seem that great. Let's try and get more spiders. Let's see. Alright. So we have at least one more time. Alright. I don't want any trouble. There's nothing to fear. All right, let's see. It will all be over soon. Don't have that much more spiders right now, so. And we get more spiders. Alright, so she shouldn't be blockable. Our three or more. So you won't suffer long. Alright, then we have the three spiders. They can block there. So young. They'll never see me coming. Alright. Everything's better with company. Says you. Elusive. Okay. Uh, deal one damage to all enemies. That seems pretty good. Can we cast that right now? Yeah, we can. Yeah, that was a pretty good turn. So the enemy nexus when he dies, probably. I guess. Yeah, when the unit dies, okay. Skip the block. Alright. Let's play the spider. Or we actually stun him. Poison. And he can't block this turn. And we can create an extra spider this way. I can even flip her or level her up. Alright. Uh, kill an ally to draw to. I think that is fine now. Exchange the token we created for two more cards. Let 
helps to reduce the cost of the scuttled beast. My true beauty is beneath the skin. Alright. Courage masks the heart from fear. Uh do we play Darius now? I mean, Nexus, direct damage, Scuttle Geese is not playable. Let's keep that for a big unit that he might have. I have my orders. Alright. Step away, coward. Was overwhelmed. Excess damage I deal to my blocker is dealt to the air. Yeah, this was the trample. All right. Now we get the attack token again. All right. Buff our team. I want to attack now. Alright. Yeah, overkill. Alright. the hang of these spiders here. Okay. Uh, continue. Quest complete. Okay. Wards, guardians. Okay. Card sleeves. Probably all these cosmetics that you could Buy, um, collect my rewards. All right, get the bundle. What do we get? A lot more cards that I have to learn. <laughs> Everything is new here. Progress day. Draw three, then reduce those cards' costs by one. That is pretty good. Kill all enemies with power zero, then frostbite all enemies. All right. One epic from six regions. Ruination. Kill all units. That's pretty powerful. Like Wrath of God. Alright. More cards. Don't even know what's good and what's not. But, get more loot. More loot is always good. Alright, play games and complete quests to unlock this reward, so we need more experience. Well, these are the pre-made decks, I guess, and these are the cards that we have won. And then we could make a deck with those. I have to read that or see what decks are actually good. And this seems to be like the in-game currency, where we could buy different boards and guardians and card sleeves. Okay, there aren't even emotes. <laughs> okay, let's play a little bit more with the various decks. Let's go with spells and stealth. Let's see what that deck can do. Seems like a playable starting hand, so... Alright. What do we have here? Zed seems like the champion. We have to attack the enemy's nexus twice. Give an ally plus 3 plus 0 or 0 plus 3 this round. Yings, quick attack. What 
just quick attack do? Ah, okay, it's like first strike. That is pretty strong for four mana. Four three first striker. When you draw a card, give me plus one plus O oh, this round. She has also first strike. And I brought my book. Hope that's all right. All right. Another day in the field. Safety mode. <laughs> Didn't build one. Here. It's elusive, what is elusive? Can only be blocked by an elusive unit, so kind of like flying, okay. Hold still. Okay. Didn't she have first strike? Is this only while blocking or what? Okay. Mm. Any time, draw the opponent to respond. Okay. Doesn't seem that great right now. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Good boy. What attacking strikes before? Ah, it's only quick attack is only for attacking, not for blocking. Okay. Only the worthy survive. I have many faces. <laughs> Alright. Now he is level up. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. Uh what do we summon now? Deal two damage to enemy nexus. This can be played every time, right? So Play only her. Alright, now we can block here. Nothing but a footnote. Okay. Do not disappoint me. Uh then we give more health here. Alright. Uh, deal two damage to anything. Let's do that. Kill this thing finally. And then... Can s Okay. That is fine, I guess. Of course, I'm ready. We attack here. Just gonna put this here. Okay. I hope this works. Good enough. We have seven mana. I got ways to find me a mushroom. Create two mushroom clouds in hand. Could react and kill him. And then play Jinx. Because the hand is empty. Let's try that. To 
<laughs> Alright. <laughs> She's a little bit crazy. Now it's a party. Okay, whatever happened there. Uh, what is her ability? Start round start, draw one, so you get the card back that we lost from the previous spell. Each round, the first time you empty your hand, create a super mega death rocket in hand. Okay. Well, let's attack first. Give him 7 power and then we create another 7 power token. There's a lot happening here that I don't understand, but I think we have won. We blew them all up. Okay, I see the synergy of this deck, but a lot of effects that I don't understand yet with this poisoning. All right, it was spells and stealth. Well, let's play buff and tough. See what that is about. A lot of champions here, okay. Seems to be the champion's deck. Four against one. We have Braum. We have a very cheap playable hand, I think that is fine. The first time I survive damage, summon a mighty Poro, and this is the mighty Poro, so it's 3 3. Yeah, okay. I'll write my own story. <laughs> I'll do my best. Tough, what is tough doing? Takes one less damage from all sources, so we still have two. To the field. I'm actually here. Hey, steal. I'm I'm ready. Then we can look here. And get the toughness here. No Alright. My journey continues. When you summon an elite, reduce my cost by one, okay? From my homeland. Okay, then the trade. Gave my own. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Let us get going. Run up. What could have been? Challenger is good. Tough. Alright. In your deck, plus one, plus one. Yeah, there's no way to double spell here, so let's play mana efficient. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Today we fight as one! He has also Challenger, right? Yields fully at the start of each round, okay, so... We fight. Then I challenge the 3-3 three, three to activate his ability of 10 damage. So I think that is fine. And then we can also attack with her, because we challenge here. Alright. Uh-oh. This will be quick. Seven, 
he got me with a spell. He got me with a spell there. Okay, so I will be challenged. Fully heal an ally, then double its power and health. Let's use that spell. Alright, then we can still summon the Poru here. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Okay, another challenger. Alright. Wild Claw, we have seven mana, he has ten. Unrefined style. What is that? Okay. Six power. We can heal him and double his health and powers. Oh, that was a slow spell. Okay. So, if you play this one, make him fight here. That seems okay. He had no play there, which is weird. If I would die, I level up instead. Yeah, that seems good. Join me in battle. <laughs> Alright, I mean let's send the team in. Live to fight. Isn't he dead then? Okay. like this deck so far was the strongest because it simply buffs all your units all the time and you have good spells. Let's try it again actually. Alright. Let's keep that. Like in the first round, we can play this. In the second round, we can play this, and then work towards Lux again. She's pretty good, actually. When you summon another ally, grant me Challenger. When I'm summoned, grant the top two allies in your deck plus one plus one. And let's go with this first. Alright. Oh, I could have attacked. Damn, I missed that. What do these yodel I see? Skyline formation! Uh, we don't have an elusive unit. I'm actually here. All right. So this one is no stronger. Do you want to an enemy? We have three now. There's no spell to save for, so sure. I hear that. I walk the space between worlds. Shen. I've seen allies gain barrier four times, okay. He's pretty tough though, so I don't have a good attack here, unfortunately. 
could weaken him with the bird. Four six damage through. Alright. Understood. Why didn't I challenge him? That's weird. We each defend our brethren. Mm, we have Brom. How can Brom help? Who would trespass here? Help is underway. <laughs> All right, let me get our three three for free. Barrier there. Nature blesses her followers. Traditions are lost if not passed on. The sun is shining. We should too. All right. So she has barrier. So she should survive here. Right? Yeah, barrier this round. Then we can trade the weaker bird here and let them bounce off. Hey! Alright. Alright. Play him yet? Uh, yeah, let's heal him. Oh, he gets big, and she flips. Oh, levels up, and we get the final spark for free. We should be able to play that. By the light! Wow. That is a good one. She is really strong. Banner will lead the way. Um, Attack. I will teach you. Alright. It's not lethal here. Would it help if I apologized? Yeah, so Lux is pretty good, I think. Alright, then... Just want to test this deck one more time. And then we call it an episode. I have to figure out what I can build with the cards that I have and we maybe jump into some real matches in the next episode that is interesting I like the dynamic of this game what is Recall doing? I have also of course to learn a lot return a unit to hand and remove all effects applied to it okay the sand. I think we get rid of these two. They are too expensive for now. Uh, we get two more expensive cards. That is bad. All right. How'd you do that? Move one sprint for each crab I saw today. We can't really attack in there. This is inspiring mentor is stronger, so we just pass. Okay. First big mission. Quietly. Something is on the mark. 
Okay, you can block here. And you can block here. I didn't do anything. All right. Mystic shot deals two damage to anything. Okay. Well, let's take her first. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Blast him! And punch! Right, like that. Okay. Next time! Eyes open. Watch the branches. Try to kill the champion. Really block them because they have first strike or quick attack. Can only trade here, really. Not a shield. She's also good in attacking, though. So right now, okay, we go to 14, I guess. Get some in this one. All right. She has also quick attack. This one makes another unit stronger, though. All enemies. That is also pretty good. Let's play the Shredder. Let the show begin. Face Melter. All right. Patrol one. Patrol two. Patrol three. This cannot hide. She is elusive, so she can't be blocked really. But he will die against this two two, right? So. Let's keep him back. Send those in. Alright. Ally, they are ephemeral. What is ephemeral? Okay. I have to do it now, but then it doesn't help really against this attack. Let's play the 4-4 maybe. And augment this one. Alright. some blocks I think but yeah let's play this one first Here we go I will play my part All right let's see it will be done What is this doing recall return a unit to hand and remove all effects applied to it Okay. Sure. There she is. Sound the alarm. Everyone here? Let's go. 
Uh, then we can still play this one. Then we play her and here empty our hands slowly here. Alone, we see things as they really are. Rules are need to be broken. Like buildings. Her people. Alright, kill the monk. Then our champion should flip. Alright. Give me a sweet bun. Heightens the senses. Now he needs to have what some pretty good cards to get out of here. She has quick attack, that is very strong. It's too late for you. This, right? Your path alone. Cannot hide. Let's keep the seven one back just in case. Hope this works. I, I, only the world survive. And another win. So far, this deck is the funniest. And we gain another reward here from the prologue. Oh. Spell storage, okay. What deck is this? <laughs> I don't know what happened there. We get a lock in bonus too. Okay, some more cards, some more spiders, and a ravenous butcher. Alright. Uh, what other rewards do we have? This one. Upgrades. Rare wild card, okay. Cool. And the next one. More white cards. Yeah, anyways, uh, I will do some more research for the next episode. And then I guess we can start maybe playing against other players. Maybe I still have to grind some more rewards before I can build a real deck, but yeah, so far it is fun, it is new, it's fresh and definitely interesting. So hope to see you back for the next episode, hope you enjoyed this one and yeah, have a great day, bye bye.